What's going on guys? Hey, it's Anthony here at The Breakout Daily. Today we're free handing it because this is one of our last main videos of 2021. And I thought, why not do a quick room tour with you guys, kind of show you what's going on, talk about kind of the current state, what we've added throughout 2021 and what we're planning on doing in 2022. So that's the video, let's get to it. All right, guys, so thank you for tuning in to The Breakout Daily here on YouTube. If you guys haven't checked out our other social media sites, please take a moment and check us out on Instagram and, of course, on TikTok. Uh, 2021 was an incredible year for us in the comic book collecting hobby, and it's a, a lot of it has to do with the community. I've got the opportunity to talk to a ton of great people on all the social media sites. I've also got to buy from some incredible sellers. I built, started building relationships with some of these sellers on Pop Shop, on whatnot, and online, and it has been a blast. And with that has come a lot of things I've learned over this year from uh, making poor decisions with buying overpriced books. Uh, I've had the opportunity to buy books at an incredible price, and uh, I've bought books that are pure investment. I bought books that I thought were going to be investments and I lost my ass, but that's not the point of today's video. Um, the point of today's video is A, to thank you guys for tuning in to uh, The Breakout Daily. So with that, please hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up if you got questions, ask a question. This room that we see here has had a lot of changes over the year. And I wanted to just talk real briefly, show you guys some of the cool stuff that we've got going on in here. Now, one thing to consider while we're working at the station, and I'm gonna go over this stuff, is this view that you see. Let's see if it'll, there you go. So this area right here, just to kind of highlight it and talk about it, this is uh, the computer setup that I use for work. The two lower screens are LG 4K monitors. Both of them are 27 inches. It actually hooks to my, uh, behind that photo right there, or print, is my Microsoft Surface. That's what feeds to those monitors. That's what I use for my daily job. Now, I'm gonna go into detail about the stuff above it, but I thought while it's sitting here, it's a little easier to kind of show you guys. This is a uh, Samsung Series 8 4K UHD TV. It goes to the Xbox Series X, it goes to, uh, there's, we'll talk about it real briefly, but there's a custom computer down below that I was originally using for video editing. Um, and now I predominantly use it for the VR headset and then some file stuff. Um, but that's, that's pretty much kind of what's going on so I can kind of paint a picture. So the reason the room is set up this way, and we'll go into detail here in a minute, I'll try to go through this as fast as I can, but the reason it's set up this way is, so when I'm shooting videos, you guys can see this stuff. Meanwhile, when we go to this side and we look back, it's a little bit different because I have a professional job and do a ton of VCs. So I wanna keep it quasi neutral with what's going on. And believe me, when we get to that side, you'll see kind of what's going on on this side. And I've had plenty of comments just about my setup over here that uh, maybe it doesn't matter in today's in today's world, but Another thing to note is this stand that it's sitting on. That is a repurposed North Face sign, uh, or stand, not just sign. It's a full stand that I got from uh, a sporting goods clo clothing store that was cl uh, closing out, and I've repurposed it for what you see here. So let's take a closer look. <clears throat> Instead of me just sitting here jabbing my jaw. So we'll start on this wall, and then we'll kind of do a circle here. This, uh, I haven't done a lot with this. I am looking for a print to replace this, but I did get this picture a while ago. I like it, but I like like this a little bit better. That's the Tyler Kirkham Venomized Hulk, signed by Tyler Kirkham in gold. Over here on this side, I have a whiteboard for work stuff. Also my, my CGC order that has been missing forever. Uh, we have a Ben Harvey print, Gambit, and Rogue, which I thought was super cool. I got to meet Ben. Uh, he signed this for me and we had a great conversation. We have the Secret Wars 
Number eight, this is the this is obviously a print, not an original, but it is the print that goes before print. So it's a pre-production print of the book. It is signed with COA for Michael Zek, John Beatty. Love it. Um, I just like the details that we can see on here and think it's super unique and cool. Um, hopefully my Secret Wars will come back from CGC some point so I can put it by it. Um, above here, last run in number one, 9.8. We've got some Todd McFarlane stuff going on right here. Amazing Spider-Man, the Hulk. Nothing crazy, I change that out on occasion. Here's another autograph, Mike Zek. This is uh, Web of Spider-Man 31. So something I think is cool. Up top, these are just some signed, a uh, handful of signed books. Oops. Sorry about that. Um, we have X-Men, let me get the glare. 16 signed by Stanley and a 6.0. Daredevil 597, the, uh, the Demasi Shattered, signed by Al Milgram, Mike Demasi, Spawn 300, signed by Todd McFarlane. Spawn number one, signed by Demasi. Right here is another Ben Harvey. That is the last Ronin Toy Wiz exclusive. I can't find the freaking book for whatever reason. So if you got an extra copy of the last Ronin issue number one by Ben Harvey, let me know. Anyways, Right here, uh, again, this is uh, just a rack that, if you flip this over, it says Breakout Daily. Right now, I printed this. But if you flip this over, it says North Face. I thought it was kind of cool. Wi-Fi system, some Pokemon cards that I got in a, in a package, my little Stanley guy. This is a Porsche my wife built via Lego for my birthday. And then, again, down below, I got a printer for work and some stuff. This is uh, the custom PC I built. It's, uh, if you're into computers, real quick, it's, uh, what, got an RTX 3080 Ti. It's got, shit, I think I got eight fans in it, 64 gigs of DDR4 memory. It's got something like five terabytes or six terabytes of RAM and to include two any, what, NVMe 2.3s. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm not going to go too far into that. Now I'm using it, like I mentioned, for VR when I have the opportunity to play VR. Um, this is a new addition here. So that's the entrance to the room. Those are some prints and stuff that I use and then those poster boards I use. Right here, I switch this up when I get new posters. That's the Peach Momoko Demon Days. Mariko. Um, this is a piece of art I got actually in Las Vegas. That's from Ryan from Counts Customs. So I freaking love this art, it's pinstriping. I think it's super cool, hella unique. That's on a piece of metal, sheet metal. Um, up top, I just put these shelves in and obviously they hold some slabs over here. I posted a thing on that. It's just some uh, canvas prints that my son got me for Christmas. Um, there's some Funkos I've got. We'll do a quick pan. You got Deadpool or New Mutants 98, Shuri 6, Eternals number one, Wildcats number one, Sandman, Berserker number one. Um, those I change up, whatever I'm feeling, just to kind of make it different here. But that's that's kind of what it looks like over on that side right there. And then on this wall, we have Thor, Spawn, we have the uh, Hellboy 15 year Mike Min Mignola uh, little pass thing from the booth. I picked that up from Comic Tom 101. I think that's super cool. Um, we've got Johnny Silverhand from Cyberpunk, AKA Keanu Reeves, 300 Spartan Helmet, another Spawn character, Mike Prevo, Wolverine, big old window. Um, this is my production area just to kind of show you guys. Have a fan in here because it gets super hot. I do use the Rocket 5 KRK Studio monitors for when I'm recording stuff. There's some books that uh, I'm getting ready to talk about on the show here. There's my, my mic setup, the new iMac, which is awesome. So when this uh, when I'm doing videos now, it'll actually, the camera actually sits on this boom arm and sits back here. And then you guys will uh, will see me talking, and I have a 
full-time computer now that makes it a lot easier to look stuff up and uh, to queue up notes and, and everything else. So I, I'm loving that. Over on this side, more shells, camera equipment, uh, Joker, Batman. This is something actually I got from an auction. It's just a bunch of ripped up money. I spent three bucks on it and I'm pretty sure there's like 20 or 30 bucks in here. At least there was, maybe my kid took out, I think there was like a 10 or a 20 ripped up. In there. Just thought it was kind of weird. I would never deface dollar bills, but it's uh, what I got. Um, these workbenches are awesome. These are Husky workbenches with really all just camera gear in it. Camera and audio gear um, to help support the YouTube channel, um, Instagram stuff, and then the uh, Culture Jack podcast. A couple of last quick things on this side before we... Uh, sit down and talk real briefly. Um, I do have, I did put this up. This is uh, what came in my mystery mail call from Tacomic Tom, 129 to 1500. That's, I believe it's Nate made it. There's another one. And then over on this side, I just put this up a uh, short time ago. We've got the Spawn Gunslinger figure. And then of course, Spawn Gunslinger one in 50, <laughs> super, super cool. Um, I'm not gonna go into the closet. I'll give you a, a sneak peek. It's a bit of a mess right now. Some of the boxes of books. Um, this is full of slabs. I got a ton of slabs. I'm actually got a couple of uh, new slab boxes on order guys. So let's sit back down, talk real quickly and we'll end this video. Thank you guys uh, again for uh, checking out everything we're doing really do appreciate it the hobby this year for me has been incredible i've learned a lot and i continue to learn every time i uh get the opportunity to whether it's watching other people's videos huge fan of what reggie collects does pressable defects uh tales from the flip side uh the the stuff uh at spine ticks and three men in a basement when agus puts stuff on and everything of the like it's just been incredible. Uh, I, I can't say enough. I know I've talked about it before as far as the community goes, but I am so excited for 2021, guys. We've, we're getting tons of new books. We're going to be shuffling, selling, moving, trading, and uh, building out stuff. Here's some of the books I'll be featuring in an up-and-coming video uh, that, I, that I got from a seller. I'm missing one of them. But there's, I mean, X-Men 12, 13, 15, 14's on its way, by the way. Um, going into stuff like that, going into a lot of details and we're going to be working on some pressing videos, some cleaning videos, some collecting videos for be beginners, the, the mediocres, every, everything in between. And again, I'm super excited to be doing that. Um, also, you know, talking through some buying standpoint tips for you new guys and, and seasoned people that have been buying. So 2022, I am so freaking excited for, and we'll get to see <laughs> what changes in the room. Um, a big important thing for me, and I kind of glazed over it over here, is uh, that's my pegboard over there for camera equipment. I've got my uh, iPad Pro, my MacBook Pro. Um, this, this has been in the works for, shoot, the better part of the last year on trying to get a system down to be able to produce stuff faster, more efficiently with the audio and, and the mic stuff where I can sit here and, and, you know, produce the highest quality content that I possibly can for you guys. And at this moment, I feel like we're right on the uh, line of it being a hundred percent done, which means my focus shifts from trying to produce the high quality stuff to, uh, continue working on the content as a whole and start start to focus on the collections the the hobby aspect of it and and i'm pretty stoked so with that being said again guys i appreciate everybody that's supporting the breakout daily here on youtube um make sure and check us out on instagram tiktok facebook we've got accounts on all of those and we really would appreciate it if you jumped over there if you got comments questions if you want to hear us talk about something specific uh, feel free to uh, drop comments down below on this video or any of the videos that we have out and available right now. It's just been, I, I can't say how awesome the year has been in regards to uh, 
collecting comics um, and being an active part of the member and being able to talk to so many people. I mean, all of those guys that I've that I just mentioned, Reggie collects. I've had the opportunity of talking with him and Instagram several times over, not on the front end. I'm talking on the back on the DMS uh, to see the engagement from Otto and Dave and the guys at three, three men in the basement with the community is absolutely incredible. Um, one of my LCS is Agus comics of Alaska. They're constantly putting out content and uh, I was featured on, on their show several times this year. So, that stuff is just so freaking awesome. A week ago, Pressable Defects had Erod, who's an incredible presser on there. And uh, while they were going over their staining content, they opened it up and uh, a lot of people, myself included, got to ask Erod some pressing and cleaning questions that I just wasn't sure about. There's people on IG, Freshwater, uh, that I've gotten a ton of pressing information and cleaning information from. But it's super cool to me um, because most people in most circumstances within the comic book collecting community, um, are pretty cool. Uh, there's been some situations that aren't cool, but nonetheless, the community as a whole, it, I feel like everybody's trying to support each other. We're, we're in this hobby together. We're trying to learn. We're trying to, uh, do what's right for the hobby. Um, and it takes a strong and willing community to do that. So, We'll wrap it there, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll have a new mail call video this Saturday. Um, and then we're going to try to keep the normal Wednesday shows. And then we're going to continue trying to do some of the mail call shows on Saturday. we got a bunch to catch up on. So, yeah, that's where it's at. Another exciting thing for 2022, we are working on uh, getting onto the live streaming platform so we can try to do this stuff live with you guys. Um, I'm still working on some of the details on that because this is a one man dog and pony show. So I, I am working on the details on that. So we should hopefully see that going into 2022 here pretty quick because I do want to uh, start including that into the regular content here as well. That's what we got. We'll be talking 2022 plans in the next several videos because there's a lot of cool stuff we've got going on. Again, I can't thank you enough for hanging out, checking out the rent breakout. <laughs> the Breakout Daily, and we'll catch up with you in the next video.